So I'll start deep on the first pass, and then once like that opposite outside back gets it, start to cheat up and take that play more direct. One thing that we talk a lot about is everybody can be a leader, and I think that everyone has a different role in that leadership. Someone's a little bit more vocal, someone leads by example more, someone's maybe a combination of the two, or is just a great teammate, and that shows leadership as well. Leadership is a balance of a lot of things. To be able to mesh a lot of strong personalities and skill levels together, you just have to communicate. That's at the base of everything. Being able to talk about your differences and the way you handle situations differently, and then moving to create a plan together is a way to kind of balance everyone and get everyone on the same page before you can compete or before you can start any goal together. Having people here that want the best for you and truly support you and want to see you succeed is just everything that I could ask for and more from a community, from a university. The Women's Leadership Council is a group of our student athletes represented from our women's sports teams here at Michigan State who gather together each month for community, for education, for learning. And so it's a great opportunity for those student athletes to get into a space together to talk about their experiences and even some of the challenges that they're having on a regular basis and to be able to share that with one another. The ultimate goal is to provide a platform in which our female student athletes have a voice and they can communicate with the department and our leaders in order to better their student athlete experience. I think it's great to be involved and continuously be involved because having your voice heard is super important and vocalizing what you think needs to be done is just another step in the right direction for women's sports. If you can eliminate barriers in the student athletes day to day, then their overall experience will improve and they can give more to themselves what they're doing and they don't have to be burdened by things that we could easily address for them. During most of our meetings, we bring in speakers to focus on some personal development, maybe even talk about career development or life skills. Also to hear from professionals and former athletes and coaches that have been a part of Michigan State Athletics or even outside of our athletics department. I chose to be a part of the Women's Leadership Council because I found it as a great opportunity to really meet other prominent women within athletics at Michigan State and hear about their experiences along with mine and see the similarities and differences as well as challenge myself to really become more active. I just found great benefit as a student athlete in being able to advocate for my team and other female student athletes, whether that was on a sport by sport basis or just issues that we experienced as a whole. It is important to share what makes a team successful and that can help all of our teams grow and taking little bits of information from a different sport and how maybe they get through to their teammates or some things that they do to help build team cohesion that can be very beneficial. In the comfort zone, no growth happens. We really try to create an opportunity for them to apply whatever they're learning in whatever environment makes sense within the scope of their lives, and that could be their space as being a student athlete, their space as a leader in the classroom or a leader in the community. And so we try to provide a combination of that in those spaces. Getting to come into a space where you're with like the women's golf team or the tennis team, you just have that exposure to other student athletes. In a lot of ways, it really helps to have the understanding that, oh, I might be going through this and she's going through it too. And so now we've formed a connection and we can be there to support each other, be there for a resource for each other, but then also share our opinions with the department on ways in which we can improve our student athlete experience. You just meet a lot of really great people who are willing to help you with anything. If you're a Spartan, you have Spartans that are going to be there for you on your worst days, on your best days, whatever you need. There's so many people that are so willing to help and give back, and I think that's been really eye-opening and powerful to me to see. It's 
it's very important when you're in East Lansing and when you're a student athlete, but beyond just having those connections, you might not be on the same team, but you might also be both going into the medical field. And so now you've made a connection with someone who might be applying to the PA program with you and you can you know, leverage that aspect of support. Having their support and knowing that there is a group of women that have our best interest in mind and want our voices to be heard in the community and our success to be shown to everybody is wonderful and I couldn't be more thankful for that. The women's leadership does a great job of being flexible. I think they really respect everyone's time and the lack of it sometimes. So just being more flexible and allowing everyone to be a part of it, I think has been nice to see and nice to be a part of. And then just those resources, the amount of speakers and the amount of powerful women that we've been able to talk to has been a great experience that I'm very thankful for. I wanna thank Alan Haller, Bella, Dr. Baker, and Morgan just for all their hard work and creating WLC. All right, ready? One, 